This is a question put forward by uh, my YouTube follower Joseph, University of Manitoba from Canada. So this is the solution, Joseph. But before that, let me repeat the question for others uh, uh, who don't know the question. Uh, the question says, find the flight path of a model rocket with mass 0.1 kg. During the first 0.015 seconds, the rocket is propelled forward by a by engine force of 16 Newton. The rocket then flies up while slowing down under the force of gravity once the engine is switched off at T initial. After the rocket reaches its ap apex, it starts falling back down. When its forward velocity reaches 20 meter per second, the parachute opens and the rocket continues to drop at a constant velocity of 20 meter per second until it hits the ground. Uh, create a MATLAB script that determines the plots the height against time and velocity against time of the model rocket as a function of time of flight. Repeat the experiment for different values of t initial. So let me just tell you the question in another way. The question says that the rocket is initially accelerated with an engine force of 16 Newton for t initial time and then uh, after, zero point, uh, after t initial time it uh, falls down under the force of gravity. And while falling down under the force of gravity, it's it, if its velocity reaches more than 20 meter per second, then um, a parachute opens and this velocity remains constant. Okay, so uh, let us uh, look into the question. Uh, let us look into the solution now. Mass is equal to 0 0.1 kg. Um, this, uh, I'm just taking an array of acceleration, velocity and height to record the height velocity and acceleration at any point of time. This is the present velocity, previous velocity, present height, previous height and the time interval 0 0.001 seconds and t initial 0 0.015. Okay, um, now let us look at the code. For time equal to 0 in steps of dt until 100, do this. If time is less than t initial, the force is 16 Newton, which is the engine force. So we just do that. Else it falls down under acceleration with minus 9.8 um, uh, meter per second square. If the present velocity is less than or equal to 20, uh, minus 20, this is the parachute condition, then the present velocity remains at minus 20 and the acceleration goes to zero because it, it would move at constant velocity. And then uh, present velocity would be present velocity plus present acceleration into time, into dt present height equal to present height plus present velocity into dt and then um, the acceleration array each time in the acceleration array you keep ag uh, adding the present acceleration and, and in the velocity array you keep ag uh, adding the present velocity and in the height array you keep adding the present height so if height less than or equal to zero then break this means that the rocket has hit the ground um, and then previous velocity equal to present velocity previous height equal to present height and then the ending time can be calculated by uh, so this doesn't this loop doesn't run for the whole time uh, until t equal to 100 it stops when the height is zero so to find the ending time we do this and once it's done we plot and uh, that's it now let's run the code so yeah this is for t equal to 0 0.015 seconds so until 0 0.015 seconds the acceleration is 160 and then the acceleration is minus 9.8 which is under gravity so the velocity is like this and the position is like this next uh, let us run the code for t equal to 0 0.1 okay so 0 point uh, until 0 0.1 second um, the acceleration is 160 meter per second square and then after that it's minus 9.8 meter per second uh, but the velocity is still less than 20 so the parachute doesn't open now and this is the plot of the height now um, let us take t equal to 0 0.3 okay so um, the acceleration is 160 for uh, until time 0 0.3 seconds and then it drops to minus 9.8 uh, which is the gravity force and after some time, when the velocity reaches minus 20, the velocity remains minus 20 because the parachute opens and the acceleration goes to zero. And this is how the height plot looks like. And 
that's it i hope you understand thanks